does your iPhone randomly shut off even with battery left or it turns off by itself? Try these tabs. They may help you fix your iPhone without repair or losing data. Let's start with the very simple one. Just force restart your iPhone. If you don't know how to do that, just quickly press the volume up, then the volume down and instantly hold down the side button until you see the Apple logo. Then let go and your iPhone will restart. In your case, if you feel your iPhone is heating up and then turning off, you should also check whether your iPhone is overheating or is excessively hot. If it is, then this may be the reason. So in this case, keep it turned off for at least 15 minutes or half an hour to let it cool down. Then turn your phone back on. Another reason why this may happen, if your iPhone's battery is damaged and can't hold charge. So if that's the case, you'll need to keep your iPhone plugged into a charger. And speaking of which, you should also make sure that you're using the official charger or a charging brick from a reputed brand, and also the cable is not damaged and supports fast charging. And now with the charger plugged in, open settings, go to general, then software update, and make sure your phone is running on the latest stable iOS version. If the problem persists after doing this, then let's check whether there is any sensor that's not working. To do that, from the settings page, you'll need to go down to privacy and security, then scroll all the way down again and open analytics and improvements. Click on analytics data, and inside here, we are going to look for panic logs. This may say panic or panic.full. So let's scroll down and go to the one starting with the letter P. In your case, you can see there's no panic log. So let me show you how it looks exactly. So if you see these panic logs, mostly it will say panic full. So you can be sure that it's a sensor or hardware issue. If you don't see any but your phone keeps restarting, then what you can try doing is, is updating your iPhone using a Mac or a Windows PC. For that, you'll need to enter DFU mode. And to help with this process, I've also prepared this quick guide. So if you want help, make sure to go check it out. You'll just need to select update option from the pop-up. If that didn't help, then go with a full restore. But note that this will erase all your data. And that's how you should be able to fix your iPhone from restarting on its own. Please let us know down below if this helped you out. And I'll see you around.